Zoom uh, to share his to, to, to share his message and uh, and, and um, sorry, my my good colleague and, the and, and friend from Utah, asked. Mr. Burgess Jones. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. After October 7th terrorist attack on our ally Israel, a wave of hate has washed across our nation. Our nation's college campuses have been uh, the focal point of a wave of anti-Semitism that I've never thought I'd see in America. I've heard directly from Jewish students at our elite universities who have seen anti-Semitic anti anti mobs up close, darned in their terrorist scarf while chanting, shouting uh, in support of the terrorist group Hamas. These scenes are straight out of the Jim Crow 1960 South during the days of segregation of KKK. The difference is the KKK bigots of my era hid their faces under white hoods. The pro-Hamas bigots today hide their cowardly faces behind face masks. Uh, it was my sincere hope that we had left the past, this hate in the past, but the slow march of Marxism has spread across our campuses like a virus. It has even affected our K-12 system, where our children, as young as the second grade, are spewing anti-Semitic chants of kill the Jews. Students and activists, teachers, and administrators are up to now have been held uh, zero, with zero accountability. Well, accountability is finally here. The People's House has a moral clarity to call out the anti-Semitic hate and bigotry. As a House Republican majority with committee oversight and the power of the purse, we're going to do the people's will and put an end to this Marxist indoctrinated bigotry. We're putting all options on the table as we demand our educational institutions step up, do the right things, and protect our Jewish students. I yield back. Thank you to my colleague from Utah. Uh, thank you for a steadfast voice in, in these key matters. Um, I'm also uh, grateful to